Last to go in this uh, penultimate group, the brother and sister from Boston, Massachusetts. Bronze medalists back in the Worlds in 2011 in Moscow, but since then they've not been on the podium. Could it be this time? Maya and Alex Shibutani, sixth place going into the free. The music by Johan Strauss. Lovely start again, tremendous quality in the edges, and great strength on the straight line lift. Ideal phasing and speed of the music for the circular step sequence. Everybody doing long, deep edges, emphasizing those turns. Magnificent. What I so admire about this couple is that they managed to keep it fresh. They've been 
skating together for 10 years, but everything looks as good as new. I remember once talking to Paul Duchesne after they'd won the World Championships and said, you've had a fantastic career, and he said, yeah, I guess so, but dancing with your sister for 10 years doesn't help. And I, I always think of that remark when I look at these two, but you'd never know it. Yeah, with well, John and Sinead too, of course. They had that same dynamic, and uh, John and Sinead Kerr. This, for me, really works. It, it's like finding the fit of the music that works with your style. And they've tried things for me in the past, like Michael Jackson, and it didn't quite work. This was beautiful. The, um, the actual, the nuances, all the detail of movements within the choreography and the match of them as a couple. And when I first saw them skate, I, saw, I think I saw them at Junior Worlds, and it was that quality of edge that they have and that wonderful flow over the ice, but also the sharpness and the lifts. You know, they did the twizzles late on. They weren't very fast over the ice, but absolutely precise and, and wonderful in the arm movements. So everything matches. Everything works. And I thought the way the music frames what they're doing worked brilliantly for them. But, you know, as, as I watch this, I'm thinking in order to give a, a real-time, accurate technical commentary, you need to be a trained technical specialist. So either as viewers, as watchers of it, appreciators, we need a little graphic at the end that gives a breakdown of the elements and what levels they got, why the marks are coming out or something. Because it, it, even for me, I mean, I'm not massively into detailing all the rules. Sometimes it's not accessible. You know, we see Alexandra Paul and Mitchell Islam skate and they get clobbered and I have to look back at the marks and think, oh, they got a level two, why was that, why was that? Is there a way we can make it more understandable? Because they all look great. <laughs> yeah, it's typical because I think the viewers just want to love to watch the dancing and they don't want it cluttered up with too much detail. Yes. And yet it's our job to say why things are happening. And I was reading the debate from the Olympics at Adelina Sotnikova and a bit of the controversy there about the marking and, and Dick, uh, Dick Button said, you know, the old marking with sixes, it was great for the viewer and he knows about broadcasting. Yeah. And now we, we're 10 years in, but somehow it, it's not as accessible, exciting as it could be yeah. to market this great sport or for even, me. Or even as it used to be. Well, at least we had sixes, <laughs> and we exactly. have tens here, but we, they don't flash up. <laughs> no. Not bad. In fact, very good for them. That's their career best, 172.03. So the Shibatanis lead as we go into the final group. Well, we saw them backstage, and uh, now here they are.